If you want to make a statement or illuminate an idea, then save your main point for the end of a sentence. It is this momentary pause, when one sentence ends and another begins, that ideas shine. For example, if you take the sentence, the game continued despite the rain and lightning, and change it so the independent clause, or the main point of the sentence, comes at the end, you will solidify the most important point, that the game continued. Compound sentences that save the most important point for the end are called periodic sentences. They should not be overused for this would cause them to lose their rhetorical effect. However, a periodic sentence situated at just the right place and at just the right time, well, that's magic. Here's a great example of a periodic sentence. In the almost incredibly brief time which it took the small but sturdy porter to roll a milk can across the platform and bump it with a clang against other milk cans similarly treated a moment before, Ash fell in love. By saving the main point of the sentence for the end, the writer stirs up a lasting feeling, love. Here's another example. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. In this example, love, or absence of love, is not the final statement because it is not the main point. The lesson this writer is trying to convey is simple. Your deeds and great doings, when done without love, mean nothing. Now that you know more about periodic sentences, here's your task. Write five periodic sentences on the topics of your choosing. Then, explain why leaving the main point, or independent clause, for the end of the sentence makes sense for each of your examples. Good luck.